Welcome to the introductory video tutorial for Evcon, a Joomla XSC template. And now let's get started here. All right, as you see, we've got a really nice home page here. And what's really cool about this is the nice HTML5 effects that you're about to see. So you see here we've got the logo and we have our standard menu. It's uh, got a drop down suckerfish menu. You can switch this menu to the dual fish or sucker fish, but once we get down here into our K2 content wall, you're going to see what makes this template really cool. As you hover over the different panels, uh, they expand in accordion style, and watch what happens. Yep, that's right, HTML5 video. And this video is set up right inside the K2 content articles. It's pretty quick and easy to do, so let's go over here and check it out. Okay, there's the conference. Expo and events, nightlife, artist showcase, venue and lodging. So as you see, we've got a really stunning homepage here. Down here we have the footer where we have a register link and we have the date for the event. And as I'm sure you noticed, this is a event or a conference template. But it could be used for anything really. You know, I would suggest that maybe it'd even be good for if you're a web design company. You could use this area to showcase you know, the things that you do. But let's go ahead and go over here and let's check out the features page. Of course, it's just gonna tell you a little bit about the template and how it's bootstrapped and uh, responsive. And so let's check out the Joomla stuff. So let's go ahead and look at the standard uh, Joomla content uh, blog layout. This is a single column blog. And what's nice here is this is the category image over here. As you see, we've gone ahead and styled it with the title and the description for the Joomla content uh, as fixed. And it's pretty much so sticky, so where everything goes up underneath it. And here you have your pagination and then your footer, of course. So let's check out the article layout. Done something really nice here for the article layout as well, um, as you see. We've got the article image over here, and then over here we have what is actually a module inside the content overrides. So the idea was we didn't really want to have write sitting over here and be on top of this or underneath this area, so we just added a module position to the content, and this is actually the article module, module position. So we have a custom HTML module here, photo gallery, and this uses our image gallery plugin so you click on one of these and then you get the image gallery and then we have a little ad over here and we can go ahead and check out the alternative layouts of course we have a two column blog for the two column blog same thing but we turn the article title off and then if we go over here to our left featured this is our custom left featured layout where the left one is large and these are smaller and then we have our Right featured, same thing, but flipped over to the right. Then you've got your center featured. And then you have your regular Joomla stuff, your search, your web links, and your contact. There's a web links, give you a look at the contact page. You have a big map here and your contact form. So let's go over and look at the extensions now. You know, we've got a K2 in here. So let's look at the K2. So here we have the images and we have the category image. Same thing here. Here's the category title and this is the uh, category description. And let's go ahead and look at the K2 item. And this is the K2 item page. Over here on the right, these are extra fields. If you know about K2, then you'll understand that K2 can have extra fields. It's just an extra field with an image. And we have the date here for the conference and everything. Event details. This is a downloadable PDF view packages. This is actually linking to the Ticketmaster component that uh, we installed in here. Uh, we'll get to that in a moment. As you can see, you've got all your controls up here. And yet again, you know, it all scrolls underneath there. Down here, you've got your gallery and your comments and everything. And it's kind of nice here is, uh, as you see, usually K2, you can have a video in here, but look where we put the video. Hey, on the left. So you know, it starts off there when you're not looking at it with the K2 content image and then it switches out when you hover it to the actual video. So we also included Kunena form. 
for your forum page, and then we have Ticketmaster here. We have some links in the site here on the demo that go to Ticketmaster, and basically Ticketmaster is a very nice ticketing system that you can use for Joomla to sell tickets to events. Ticketmaster is a commercial component and is not included with the download. Um, we did do some nice styling for it, so as you can see, if you install it, you'll be all set up. You go ahead and look at the documentation to find out where you can download Ticketmaster from, and like we said, it's been a great component for a lot of people, and so we just want to provide you with a way that you can go ahead and actually sell tickets in an easy sense. So now we're going to go over here and check out the styles. So as you see on the home page, we have style one, and we've got these color bars down here, and that's really all that you're going to see on the, the sub pages is where you'll see more of the styling, but here we change the color bar and the color bars down here. But when you go over to, say, the article layout, you'll see some more style changes here. So let's go to style three. Style four. Style five. Style six. And let's go back to style one. Now let's take a look at how the template responds uh, for the responsive nature of the template. So here's the home page. Let me go ahead and pull my browser in. As you see, we're going to come down to here. And once it gets to about this area here, you know, we start to hide everything that's over on the left area here. And it's only where each one comes up and has the text on it. So now let me pull it in even more. So once we get to like the mobile level, now you see everything goes to one column and no video because you really don't want to be rendering the big videos when you go to mobile so we just have the image and the information so let's come back out here and let's go ahead and check out say the uh, Joomla content here's the two uh, standard blog and let's go ahead and pull this in and as you see we're going to go on top here and pull it in a little more here and then you'll notice that we have the one column and now let's go ahead and check out the Joomla article and we do something kind of interesting here because here over here in the, the left area right now we have the full image once we go down to the mobile level we're going to be using the intro image that flips all the way to the top. So now we're using the intro image. And let's go ahead and check out um, the K2 item as well. So we're going to go ahead and pull this in. And there we go. Now we're using the K2 image. So as you see, it's a really nice site for the responsive layout and for mobile. And that's going to conclude this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and show you how everything's set up in the back end, how you get your own videos in there, and uh, the back end side of the whole template. And we'll see you in the next video.